Well, hello folks, welcome back to the channel. I am the Gusta Prophet. We're back here with uh, Vizsla Krakow just after the winter break. Um, we've played a couple of games beyond that and uh, I guess the question is what could possibly go wrong? We've had the winter break, you know, anything or everything. Let's find out. Right folks, I don't know where to start. We look in a good position, as you can see. We're playing Pogon today, who were the team in top, but their form has drastically reduced. That's a good thing, I think we'll find. They've lost their first two games of uh, after the winter break. We, on the other hand, have won our two games, which puts us one point ahead of them. So that was a little bit of a surprise, and it would be awesome to keep that going. Let's have a look at those results. Uh, so we had a very, very good pre-season or mid-season break, uh, but we just had two games against teams that aren't all that great. Goals, again, we've got goals for... Uh, we played Brookbet to Melika, who were struggling a little bit in the league and uh, beat them 2-1. You'll see a new goal scorer we've not seen before. Yes, there are new players in the team, as well as Jakob Osko, who got his first goal for us. It was his first start... And he got a goal, which was awesome. So uh, that's the youngster. He's now out for five weeks. So great. Uh, we then beat Tichy uh, with a brace from Carlos. Um, we'll talk about why he wasn't playing in the last game in a second. So we come here in a, I think, in a really decent place in as much as we've just won a few games. Maybe we're feeling a bit better with ourselves and we can go on a little bit of a run. We've got a game here against Pogon, who are struggling. Let's look at that form. They've not won in the league since uh, the 21st of November. We're in, we're in, uh, we're in February now, so that feels like we could have a chance against them. I don't know if they've lost any players. No, no one has gone out. They have bought a player in, Mario Guerra. Um, so they, it's not that they've reduced in quality; they just have for some reason stopped winning games let's have a look at uh, our transfers <laughs> right first out the door this is a sad one goku roman has left to go back to spain he's 33 he just felt that he'd, he'd run his course he'd done what he could do to get us promoted and he's played a part in the last couple of seasons but certainly this year he's dropped off far too much and he, he he doesn't really have a role at this club anymore but uh we 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 salute Goku Roman for being an absolute superstar striker Kasper Shalmaki he has left for a very small amount of money going to Tichy don't think he played against us no he didn't i i'm not too worried about this i don't think he was going to amount to anything he was at most a backup, but when he played, we just couldn't get him scoring. We couldn't get him involved in the games. So, you know, let's see him go to somewhere else, see if he can um, see if he can cement a place, get a bit more game time, and maybe things will go better for him. Kuba Wisnowski, this was a sad one, our right back. Unfortunately, Vidzu um, met his release clause. It was about 800 million... Uh, not 800 million, 800,000 pounds. Uh, so we got the money for it, but you know, we did have uh, Christian who was playing on the right side. So it, whilst it's sad to lose him, it's not the end of the world. And he was so important in our promotion season. So we will leave him. We'll let him go with the best of wishes, but another player who has been so important for us um, over the past three, four years. Lucas Macheca, he is also moved on. 29-year-old Czech player, uh, again, a player who has been a really important player for us over the last few years. Not scored a whole load of goals, but he scored some really important goals, and he was important in our promotion season. Never quite re reached the, the levels I thought he might, but there you go. And the big one, the big one, <laughs> none of these are the big one. The big one is Carlos. <sighs> we had so many bids coming in for him. And in the end, he went to Paris Saint-Germain for 2.3 million, his release clause. Thankfully, they loaned him back straight away. In fact, every club that put an offer in actually said, we'll, we'll give you a loan back uh, clause in it. So that was that was nice, just until the end of the season. 
First game back, which was against Brooke Beck to Malika, I've not had this in this game at all. I had a message saying Carlos has been seen coming out of a nightclub late at night. Uh, so part of the club policy, he can't play the next game because he's been suspended. <laughs> so great. So we, we had nobody to put up there. So we're, we're a little bit shy up top. Let's see who we've brought in. Right, first up, Philippe Kalok, so a player who's coming in in the centre of the pitch. Someone to add a little bit more spice into there. A Czech ball-winning midfielder. Um, it's the position where we're struggling a little bit to find good performances. Um, so hopefully he can do something. He's yet to. He's played a couple of games, neither of which have been particularly great. Well, Denis Yastremski is a rapid uh, winger. So I, I signed him on loan purely because I thought he was going to give us an awful lot on the wing. So he's on loan from Dusseldorf. I think he's going to be really quite good. He scored a goal and he had a, a very good game and, and a sort of poorer game. So let me know what you think of this guy. I think he's pretty good. And that long throws is looking looking pretty good. But he's certainly a player who's going to get involved. Obviously, Carlos is back. Just look at him. He's now worth 40 to 57 million pounds i mean how much money are they getting from him and because they've met a release clause we see none of that which is gutting because we've lost basically all of our strikers what we have done and this is really a look see we've got this young 18 year old polish player from uh, jagiellonia and really i just want to see whether whether we can use him now and again as a uh, pressing forward and if we can it can work then we'll buy him at the end of the season he's sort of a little bit of a look see at this guy not convinced but i think he could be all right so lots and lots of movement we we it was a record transfers going out of the club which is which is interesting um we do still have carlos in the reserves the other carlos so we've got him to bring in we've got lots and lots of good young players but I do feel we're a little bit weaker than we were. Having Carlos back, though, is an absolute boon. And having some real quality now back up to go down the wings uh, feels like when things aren't going that well, we've got someone to bring on. Right, should we go and play uh, Pogon? Right, here we go. No idea how this is going to go. Interesting to see how Ligia get on against Vidsu as well, who are hit and miss. I would love to get a win out of this, just to keep keep the pressure on the teams above us. Ligia and Vidsu, that's a very good draw. Macheka getting a goal for Vidsu, so that's excellent. Pleased for him. Um, so that does mean a win here would put us within... Two points of Ligia, which would be very, very good. Tough game, though, to get that win in. So, team we're going to go with, Carlos and John Jules. There's really very little else other than that, with uh, up Churko out injured. We are going to be playing um, Jastremski on the left, Kanya on the right. We're going to play Jastremski as a winger, because I think that will work for him better. Because he's left-footed, I don't think we want to be playing him as an inside forward. We've got Duda and Kalosh, who's playing in that ball-winning midfielder position. Hopefully he can do something there. Kriznowski is always fantastic at left-back. Cordoba and Piroch at the minute with Christian at right-back. Bachmann in goal. I certainly feel like we need to get a better goalkeeper at the end of the season. We've got the youngster Diziuba on the bench. And we'll see whether we need to bring him on. Uh, I think we probably will, whatever happens. But as things stand, this is going. To, I think this is going to be tight. I hope it's going to be tight. <laughs> I hope we don't get absolutely smashed. But we won a couple of games, which is always gives us confidence. Oh, here's Duda, who loses the ball, unlike him. I mean, he's the player I think I've got all my eggs on. If that's what you can do. I guess you put all your eggs on in Easter. Instead of chips or something. That's a lovely bit of play. And it's that's horrifically unlucky. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not a missed interception, is it? It's just he whacks it at the player. We're 1-0 down. But, I mean... Well, Velde, he lost... I mean, it just hit Pirok or this guy... No, it hit our player, didn't it? It was it, somehow it was not an own goal. Don't get it, but we're one nil down, so not ideal. 
start-wise. We've got no possession either, which is not ideal. And that's a massive hole appeared in our defence. And we're 2-0 down after 8 minutes. This is not how I thought we would start. And I have to admit that. I thought we'd be a bit better. But what was the problem here? It was that nobody was there. Well, Pirot, he's he's on thin ice anyway. Because I've got another... I've got the... Uh, Another player who's back from injury who could be a lot better than him. But 2-0 down after that amount of time. Here's Duda. Chips it in. John Jules. Oh, off the bar from the new guy. Well, that's all right. Right, 35 minutes on. And we really have not got going at all here. This is not great. I wasn't really sure what... Because we've only played... Since we made the sort of changes to the side, we've only played sort of poorer teams. Not really done great in either of the matches, but we got it done. Let's do this. is nice. This is much better play. Hmm. Almost got in there with a challenge, but it just feels like we're... Oh, that's a lovely ball down there. Velda, who has caused problems, giving him probably a little bit too much space. Oh, my. It was a lovely challenge, and they are 3-0 up. And we are out of this. Jesus Christ. We need to do... I don't know what, what, we, what we can do here, because every chance is going in the back of the net. Oh, this is the last thing I wanted. 44 minutes gone, another chance. It's into the back of the net again. Bishakshan. And what is this? What, what is this defending? Oh, no. I mean, is there is there a way? Can we do a Bournemouth? That's the question. We don't look like we're going to it any time soon. I think we're going to shout at them at half-time. Could we score a goal now? That would be nice. And then, you know, we'll set ourselves up for an excellent second half, perhaps. I think we need to we need to make some changes. Lovely play. Oh, John Jules way over the top. Oh, and we have the chances. We don't do anything with them. Right, I'm going to lay into them at half-time. Bit of a change here. Um, we've We've... Shouted at them. Uh, we're going to bring on Pirok at the back. For, uh, Pankov for Pirok, who I think has been next to useless. Pankov just back from injury. The hope is he's going to be the the long term solution there. We have taken off Kanya, who has been very very quiet, and on has come Sahiti. He's going on the right side, and we're hopefully going to get more out of him. We've also changed the defence of the line. We're going for a higher press and a higher defensive line. Uh, in the hope to create a few more chances in the second half. So we're going to shout at them. I don't think we can do anything more than that. And we'll see what we can come out with in this second half with a slightly more attacking lineup here. Here's Krasnowski, straight from the kickoff. Beautiful bit of play. I mean, we've got Carlos, who's one of the best players in this league, and John Jules misses another sitter. Well, the youngster, Dizuba, has come on as well now for John Jules, who has made... He's not been great, has he? Oh, just off the far post. But we're just holding off and sitting off them. We should be making the challenges, but... Oh, dear. Right, Duda, round the corner. Here's Dizuba. Kalok. Sahiti. Is that it's behind? It's behind from the new guy. How do you miss that? We've had, we've had as good a chances as they have, in well, at least two or three that match theirs, and we have not scored. So it's just one of those days, isn't it, where it's all gone a bit pear shaped. Well, we've changed our central two midfielders. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's allowed. Here's Christian after that. Um, I mean, like he's, he's basically done what the wrestler might have done there. Here's Dezuba into uh, Krasnowski. A lovely ball. And Carlos puts it in. Yeah, Selhaka and Dizedic have come on. Uh, but I think this is probably too little too late. They are checking that. We're running away with the ball. We're goal awarded. I mean, it's, it's kind of them to give us that. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it was a bit lucky there. Krasnowski inside. And Carlos, he almost screwed that up but puts it past them he gets his goal so that's positive come on let's get a challenge in 
Oh, at the far post there. Molina. Oh, the goalkeeper did well there. I mean, I, as she was the defender on the line, goalkeeper just looked lost. I don't know what to say about all that. I mean, XG-wise says it probably shouldn't be that far away. Maybe 4-3. I don't think 4-1 is in any way a reflection of that game. They just scored basically every chance they had for right at the start. And we missed our, the two good chances we had, we missed in that half. If we'd scored those, we'd be right back in it. And I reckon we could have given them a run. I don't necessarily think we had enough to win that game. I thought it should be a heck of a lot closer, though. Uh, second half was much, much better, though. So I need to think about maybe playing that sort of more attacking approach, even against the good players, uh, good teams. Um, yeah. Need to be better. Right, folks. We'll uh, need... To need to think about that. I think I am going to make those changes straight away and we'll just try and take those forward. We've not got long to go, but we've plenty of time to put things right because we've got to play Legia Warsaw. If we can beat them, we would be good. But I think the game we have to come back for is the game against Corona because we never do well against them. Doesn't matter what happens, we lose. So let's go and come back for that game and we'll see if we can uh, break that trend. Anyway, let me know what you thought about that, that horrific performance. Um, wasn't great, was it? <laughs> In the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.